Okay, I'm going to go with the command squad. They're going to do an advance up to this distance. They're just going to move up a little bit to there, staying away from their buddies. Greetings and welcome to Halfling 13 Gaming. And welcome to our second episode of our Bolt Action 3rd Edition Battle Reports, continuing the struggle between Bitter British Major Sterling and German Obers Lieutenant Schaefer. We learned a lot in our first game and hopefully have corrected a number of the errors for this attempt. Forces are functionally the same, though the British infantry have received their uniforms and some paint at this point. As always, if you spot any errors, please leave us a comment to help us and other players learn. Since we're new to this game system, we still end up correcting in, or incorrectly interpreting or assuming rules, especially with Star Wars Legion being mostly habit by now. Our theater of operation continues to be the North Africa Theater, with the British 8th facing off against the German Africa Corps. As usual, gray objects and rocks provide heavy cover, with a few scattered pieces of light cover, though for the game everything seemed to be heavy cover. Some of the terrain has a futuristic Star Wars theme. Terrain is an upcoming project for improvement. Painting of the models is also a work in progress. The British infantry have color now, but need to have their bases finish off. German infantry are next, with vehicles likely to be done around the same time. Which is good, since we have reinforcements arriving soon to expand both sides with additional options. As always, welcome our viewers, both past and present. All 3D models used are available either on Thingiverse or from various companies. Please check the description for details. We're using a custom design clip-on designation I refer to as a Wargame widget, which helps separate the units especially when they're all just primer white. If you're interested, these, those are available in our Etsy shop or the design is available to our Patreon sponsors. For the Germans, George is fielded in a single rifle platoon and an armor platoon. The rifle platoon has a platoon commander, a pair of hair infantry squads, and a light mortar team, along with an anti-tank team. The armor platoon I don't think is technically legal since we only have one vehicle, but is fielded in an SDKFZ-222 light armored car as the command unit. The Germans have 443 points with six order dice. The British are almost exactly the same composition due to the starter kit, with the same rifle platoon and armor platoon combination. The only substantial difference is the armored car, which is a Mark IV Humber arm armored car. The British also have 443 points and six order dice. Quite a few assumptions were made in the creation of the army list. We ended up with a couple of men short on the figures, so in the game there's some adju small adjustments. If you enjoy this content, drop a like on this video to help grow the audience, and subscribe to the channel to be notified of future releases. Consider supporting us directly by joining our channel with the YouTube join icon located next to the subscribe, or consider our Patreon options. Leave a comment to let us know what you did or did not like about this battle or the video format. We're eager to engage with the audience and improve the channel. Your support and feedback is appreciated and helps us continue creating content. New bolt action videos will typically be posted on Saturdays, but will be fairly infrequent to start off. Okay, um, these guys are going to run over here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to issue a run order to this squad here, which will be this guy will be in charge, and they will move up to the side of the pieces over here, ready to engage with the Germans in the desert. Okay, um, so the mortar team is going to advance and then fire at that squad. Okay, got it. Well, you got it. Okay. Um, in that case, you use a two-inch template, which is going to be the width of these, because these are one inches specifically, and that's not good because you're going to get a whole bunch of guys. I'd say five, okay, because I clustered them all up. Okay, so five dice to wound, and they're experienced. Or um, normal, so I believe you need fours. Okay. I've got three. Three? Okay, so I'm going to take one, um, D2 pins. Okay. Because you hit me. So roll a dice and divide it by two. Oh, it's a one to three, it's one. Two. So I take two pins because I got hit by a mortar. And then I make three saves 
which I don't get any saves because I you get don't, no cover. You don't get cover saves, yeah. So, so that's it. I just lose three guys. Yeah. So I'm going to take three that are all clumped up. That's not good. That's not a good start for the British. And then... Two next to them because I know where yep. they are. Okay, you know where they are. So unless I move or you move, um, yeah, they're going to get plastered. No, they're going to advance. And then um, shoot at the same spot. And four plus, right? Uh, you move five. Okay, five. Yep. Okay. My mortar crew is going to start from here. They're going to advance and then try to shoot at the white squad over there, the big infantry squad. So that is going to place them approximately here with a crewman. And then we'll measure and see. No. Okay. So then put a five next to them. The anti-tank crew is going to come onto the board over here, and then they're going to shoot at the other anti-tank crew. So it's over here with their loader. And take a shot. Nope. Okay. The other unit of riflemen for the British are going to run. And they're going to go over here run up to this location. My armored car is going to take an advance, move on to the board, moving to approximately here, and then open fire on the infantry squad. Heavy gun, I need a five. Nope. Three machine gun shots. I got one. Okay. Okay. And then I wound on a four, we said. So did not wound them, but you do take a point of pin. Um, these guys are going to advance and then shoot at them. Okay. Yeah, so they got hit, so they're going to take a pin. They need fours to wound. Okay, so I have three dice with soft cover, which I need fives. I got one, so two guys dead. British are not doing too well so far. Okay. Okay. So they're gonna go here. Okay. And then shoot over there. Got two of them. Okay. And then four is a wound. Nope. Nope. Okay. It's just a pin. Just a pin because you hit me. Um, so this vehicle is going to advance over here. And then shoot the other vehicle. Nope. Okay. And an MMG? Yeah, and then. Does it have a penetration rating? No. Then it can't hurt me. Yeah. Last unit is my command squad who's going to take an advance order. They're going to advance from here, moving up to this location. And they're not going to be in range. So, well, I guess that's what they did. And they'll try to take a shot at squad way over there. Two rifles. Need fives. One got gotcha. you. Okay. Four to wound. Nope. But you take a pin. On this dude, right? Yep.
token is blue. I'm going to go with the armored car. It's going to just take a fire. Or but it's a four plus or four plus penetration. So got you. Okay. Um, no cover save. So I just pen try to penetrate. So I need this plus four. Ten. Well, that's definitely going to penetrate. Now we need to figure out how to penetrate things. So it's destroyed. Okay. Knocked out. Uh, vehicle destroyed becomes a wreck. So it's like lay it on its side or something. Technically, it provides cover. Okay. I'm going to go with the command squad. They're going to do an advance up to this distance. They're just going to move up a little bit to there, staying away from their buddies. Nice out in the open. And then take a shot at the German command squad. Wow, total miss. Okay. okay. I'm going to use snap two to order these guys to advance as well. They're going to move. They have to roll for their pin. They got to roll for their pin. Scoring a four, which is plenty low enough. They're going to advance into the pit, into the crater to get cover, and then open fire on the command squad over there. Need fives to hit. So go down. Okay, you gonna go down? Yeah. Didn't I didn't have that option last time. So. Okay. Yeah, good thing you went down because I got a five hits. Okay, so they take a point of pin. And then I need fours to kit wound, which will get two. And then you get two five plus saves. So I lose one. Okay. Second unit over here is this one. They're going to take a snap two. They're going to advance also, assuming they can rally. Scoring an eight. At the minus two, plus two for the leader is, I believe, enough. Yeah, that's, I'm almost positive that eight is correct. So they can act, and they are going, so their advance is going to be to here, and then shoot at the white rifle squad. Got one. So I'm going to pin them. Wounded. And. Like, I guess heavy cover. Okay. So four. Yep. Still dead. British unit over here is going to take a fire order, and they're going to fire at the anti-tank crate. Nope. Okay, I'm going to go with these guys. Um, they're going to just fire, um, and they don't. They don't. Okay. These guys are going to move over here and then shoot the mortar at those guys. You can't get a six twice in a row. Yep. No. Okay. But now you only need a five. I, I got limited time before that hole becomes a death trap. <laughs> um, these guys are going to fire at the NCO squad. Trouble. So, four, five. Um, five. Okay. And then four to wound, or four to kill. Uh, three. Three. Okay, whole command squad dead. So the mortar squad's going to take a fire order and shoot the same squad, white, right there. Nope. Now 
now I need a four next round. Um, we'll go ahead and just shoot the other reckless blast. Okay. So four. Got it. Okay. So you need a four to wound. Yep. And I got a four save. Nope. And does that mean they flee automatically? Uh, no. Now they make a leadership check because they got they lost half their guys. Okay. Um, and your squad did not. Mm-hmm. I don't think I took out half the squad. Nope. So they make a leadership check against their eight because of the one pin, and they're fine. So they just go down. Okay. So these guys were in the go. Um, roll. I'm getting it. So one gets removed, right? Yes. Okay. Here. And we're going to shoot at the infantry. Two hits. Not, not bad. So wound. Uh, yep, wounds for four. One. And cover save for four. Saved. But I got another pin. Okay, I'm gonna go with these squads. I'm gonna give them the order to fire at the red squad back there. So they test leadership. No problem. That clears their one pin, and then they take a shot. Okay, so four is the hit, so I got four hits. Okay. So you're going to take a pin, and then I need force to kill. Kill four of them. About in the open. Super Juice Squad is going to attempt to advance. We're rolling a rally. Grab another dice to roll the other half. A nine, which is going to be a failure. So they go down. Uh, Mortar is going to fire at them. Okay. Good five. Yep. Oh, great. Okay, well, you get all five of them. Um, well, Technically not. I guess you get four of them. Because they're one inch apart. Okay. I think it's a one inch blast. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you can't get all all of them because if you cover the furthest one, then you could, you're not going to get the other two. So four of them is what you hit. Okay. One. One dead. They don't get any cover for that, and now they are in trouble there in the crater. So D2 pins? Yep. Just two pins. Okay, the anti-tank is going to get a fire order. Just shoot at the other anti-tank. Going to attempt to rally. Get an eight, which is not enough, I believe. Yeah. So he goes down. These guys are going to fire. Um, eight, and they're by the NCO. Yes, they're good. So then they're going to shoot them. Mm, probably nothing. Go on. Okay. So I get a pin. And then. Okay. Wound. And a cover save for nothing. No, they did. So that went my last rifle guy. Mortar squad's getting a fire order, lobbing a shell over at the white unit. Not that I can hit with these things, but we'll see. 
Miss. Yeah, another five. Okay, armor card going to advance. It's going to start by pivoting. It's going to move over here and pivot. And then open fire on the anti-tank curve. So the anti-tank, miss. And three shots from the machine gun. Got one hit. Okay. And a wound. So your loader's gone. And a pen. Seven, which is enough. Yep. So you clear your pen. And then it's going to shoot at them. Okay. One hit. Uh oh. What's the penetration? Um, two. Two? Okay. So I got a six total. A six is not going to do it. Seven, I know, is the minimum. Okay. Otherwise, basic weapons can do it. Yeah, it needs a seven or higher to penetrate. Okay, but it is pinned. in total aren't they boosted not by not for themselves i don't believe so and they're at minus two for the pin well the oh, rally no. ignores that the rally ignores that and after right. conferring with the rules the rally was successful and then you're just going to order people okay who do you want to order with uh first you start with one order and it's going to fire at the same block they're going to go down nope. miss now they wasted their action by going down. So, so these guys are going to fire. Yep. So we can shoot at. So we got Ouch. Not pinned. So, um, so eight. Eight? Mm hmm. Okay. Four's a wound. No, seven, I'm sorry. So, oh, a little better. Still four to wound. Um, so three. Three. Okay. So three cover saves. Scoring one. So two dead. So that's going to be this guy and that guy. And then they get a pin, right? Yep. And they get a pin. And these guys are also going to shoot, right? Okay, so five hits, four hits, and five. Five hits. Okay, so that's going to be another pin. And then two. Two. And then I need two plus saves. Okay. So, no problem there. Okay. They can't do anything. They're just keeping their head down. <laughs> uh, this can go ahead and fire at the vehicle again. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And now you need a, what's your penetration value? Two. Two, so you need at least a five. Nope, same no. thing. Okay, bounces off it again. You guys are a pin now. Um, sure. That's probably what's gonna kill it. Anti-tank crew is gonna attempt to fire. No problem, with the seven. And shoot at the guy over there. Got him. And a four to kill him. This unit is going to attempt to rally. Successful. So that clears all their suppression. Armored car is going to go. It's going to attempt to advance. Scoring way too high. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to go down. But it has to reverse, reverse because of that. So in a way from the enemy, reverses over to here. And then goes down. 
These guys can't, uh, based on the retreating vehicle, no longer have line of sight, so they're just going to set an ambush, I guess. We'll see how that works. Okay, these guys are going to advance. They don't need to make an order check this time. At which point they will go up to here, staying with the cover, and shoot at the mortar team. I got one. Okay. Wounded. So I don't think you have any cover from them. Okay. So one guy. And that means you make a leadership check to just lost half the unit. Okay. So base eight, ten because you're leader, nine because of the mortar, or because of the pin. There you go. Okay. Vehicle is going to attempt to advance again. Scoring an eight, which is not su sufficient. So it's going to retreat again. Um, no enemies in the front guard, so it just stays there. Okay, so it just stays there and goes down. Mordor is going to take an advance order. They're going to move out into the field here where they get a line of sight. And then try to lob something into the white unit. And they need a six to hit you. Um, they're going to fire at them. So just two nuts. Two rifles. Need fours. Nope. Okay. Now they're going to fire at them. Okay. No five hits. Yep. Four is a wound. Two and two cover saves. Seven. Two more dead. Then they have to check to see if they flee. Yep. Uh, that's going to be my machine gun and my rifle. And then they attempt to see if they stand on the board, and they need a seven. Nope. They're dead. Away. These guys are firing at them. Okay, and they're going down. Okay. So one. Okay. Every time we go down, you miss. Yep. Nope. Okay. So just a pin. Okay. And this rifle's going to advance and then shoot at the red squad if possible. The rally check is an eight, which is going to be a failure. So you need the seven. So these guys are going to shoot them. Okay, and they're going down. Okay. Okay. A wound. And a dead. So that went my loader. And their fire also again. Okay. So we got three that time. Okay. Let's get another pin. One. One. Saved it. Yeah. Okay, so these guys are going to advance. Um, I'm going to find my new image. So 
So three. Okay. Where's the wound? Two. Two. Okay, they're dead. So uh, here is going to attempt to fire at the white spot. Fire order is not received, so he goes down. And the armored car is going to advance, possibly. Successfully. Scores a six. So he is going to advance in this direction. And then open fire on that white spot. Which missed. And then I have three dice from a machine gun. Which got one hit. Okay. And the machine gun kills a guy. Um, that was a five to hit. Mm -hmm. That missed. You didn't lose a guy because I need a six. I'm pinned. Ah. Okay. So I did not get a pin back. Correct. So that was the end of turn six. Yep. Okay. So on a four, five, or six, game's over. Nope. One more round. Okay, this unit in the, in the crater is going to attempt to rally. Scoring a six, which is enough. So they clear the pin, but they're done. My commander is going to advance. Okay. And then he shoots him. Yeah. Okay. And then forest of wood. Well then, <laughs> they start depth. Apparently, and then their cover save scores one. So I got one guy left. And then they check their run. And then they check the run. And they need a seven because they're pinned. And they're gone. So they rally just to get wiped out. And these people are going to advance. Shooting at the gun? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool man. So, two. Okay. Where's the wound? One. And four save. going to advance and then try to shoot at them. Uh, three. Okay, armored cars are going to attempt to fire at the white squad right in front of them. Yes, he gets to shoot. Okay, so clears his last pin, so he's safe from that now. Not that it matters anymore. And he gets a high explosive gun. Hits! So, looks like the best I can get is two. Okay. So two guys. Um, didn't wound either of them. And then I have a machine gun. Scoring two. For one wound, kills another guy. And that's not going to be enough to get half the unit. Okay, so that ends the game with a German victory. With nothing but the armored car. <laughs> At the end of the game, Major Sterling and the British forces have been defeated. 
All infantry have been eliminated from the field, with the only unit remaining being the Humber armored car. Against the remaining German infantry, just can't do enough damage fast enough to avoid being overwhelmed. The British forces have lost the day and were forced to retreat from the field to regroup and prepare for, for another counterattack. Thank you for watching this video to the end. If you made it this far, please consider a like on the video or subscribe to be notified for future content. Leave a comment for the players to ask why an option was or was not taken, and join the discussion with any advice and tactics for either force to make them more viable in the game.